huh? All white bricks, all white bricks, white tan bricks, just hit a lick. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. You know what I'm saying? We hit 85,000 subscribers not too long ago. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP, all my network partners up at Fox 5, my dog Scrap, and everybody that rocks with this content, the people who've been watching it from the beginning till now, and all the time in between. You know what I'm saying? I gotta stress that because without y'all, there is no us. See what I'm saying? Like y'all the ones who watch, who comment, and we read the comments, we see what people are saying, and we keep it moving in that form. I got a couple of different subjects I wanna talk about today, so, just stick with it. I ain't blogged in like four days. We dropped the Gerald McCoy joint when we was at the football camp, you know what I'm saying? I had I lost 20, 27 pounds this year. And you know what I'm saying? It was a good time out there. We was running around all day. Uh, just getting to it, man. Met a lot of good people. And if you get a chance, you know what I'm saying? Go check the blog. It's only got like a thousand, it's a couple thousand views on it. But I knew it wasn't a big view type blog, but it was something that we did to show love to the city of Oklahoma and the people who are out there. And that was one of my best times in battle rap to do something that was not in battle rap. We literally got to go on a recruiting tour with recruits there, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we coming through, me, SP, they looking, it's Gerald McCoy's with us, they don't know if any, if he's a player or what's going on, we got the lanyards on walking through. And listen, it's not my opinion to change what you think. So people like, yo, you play? I'm like, man, I'm old as shit. What do you mean do I play? Yeah, I play, you know what I'm saying? So it was just a great time. And if you get a chance, just, I'm gonna pin the blog at the top of the comments, you know, just peep it comment, talk shit, talk about how bad I passed, what, I don't care, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but we did have fun and it was a dope thing to do so I had to promote that. Charlie Clips, I dropped the segment yesterday with him talking about um, Easy the Block Captain and the battle not being released. I know, um, you know what I'm saying, Easy's mom passed around the time the battle happened, but it's almost two months later, Charlie Clips wants his battle out. And you know what I'm saying? I ain't mad at that. I'm gonna pin, I'm gonna put that in the comments too. Peep that interview, let me know what you think. Charlie Clips gave his excuse or reason or whatever the fuck being why he be bullshitting in battles. I heard it, I was like, all right, cool, my nigga. Let's just get the motherfucking cop. Let him talk, just let the nigga, let him go. Let this nigga talk. If he thinks I'm buying this shit, I'm not. But let him go. But he did have a lot of good jewels, points, and things that he brought, talked about in the interview with us. I got a whole hour and a half interview with him that's gonna drop probably Friday. The interview on the news drops July 3rd. So that's gonna be out. We probably got another big guest coming up soon that I just confirmed yesterday. And we still moving, you know what I'm saying? I'm at the finals of my class. I told y'all I'm in a marketing class in my MBA. I'm, I'm holding an A right now. I got two assignments left. We're gonna walk those down this week and we're gonna get an A in our first class, you know what I'm saying? And then I got two more classes starting next next week, actually. So we about to start working and grinding, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, I like to put that pressure on myself. People been hitting me up like, yo, why you just don't go on the website and let somebody else do your paperwork? I don't want nobody to do my paperwork. I wanna do my paperwork. I don't really have a great answer for your uh, question because I, I really don't give a fuck. I ain't come to school to let nobody do my shit for me. I don't know if any of y'all are like that in life, but with me, I'm like, yo, I gotta go through it. I cannot let another motherfucker do my shit for me. I can't, you know what I'm saying? For me, it's just a mental thing. Like maybe in the past when I was younger, I'd be like, man, fuck it, pay the 65, I'll let the motherfucker write the paper. But now, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm another person's dad who's in school. I got people that I raised that are in school. I cannot promote paying for papers when uh, I gotta do the shit myself, man. But that's just a slick, cool intro. Uh, the trenches is coming up and I got all these subjects like in my mind too because I've been thinking about them because I haven't blogged like I said in the last five days really because we've been out and about on the road so you know what I'm saying I'm in different cities getting treated very lovely <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You got the trenches card coming up. I seen they made the announcement August 10th in Philadelphia. Easy told me to hit him up. I'm gonna hit up Easy, see what he wanna do as far as like his card and things like that. And don't not pick up the phone for me because I dropped that Charlie blog, nigga. I know you motherfucker. What happened to that boy? 
what happened to that boy? Guess what? It's a business, baby. Chill don't pay the bills. You know what I'm saying? He said what he said. I got to drop it. So I'm gonna call. I'm gonna hit you up a little bit later. We gonna talk. You know what I'm saying? But uh, shout out to you. Uh, I seen the whole situation with the Julio Fulio. I'll talk about that real quick. You know what I'm saying? I don't really do a lot of hip hop type blogs. You know what I'm saying? That's not really my thing. I'm, my heart is in battle rap. It's centered in battle rap. So for as long as I do this shit, I'm gonna always be in battle rap. I just seen like all of the videos, the disses, and everything that was going on down there in Jacksonville. It's a war zone. You know what I'm saying? Celebrating your birthday or your birthday weekend and posting a flyer knowing that people want to kill you is damn near suicide by op. You know where they're going to be. They know where you're going to be and you posted a flyer to your birthday a week before. These niggas had time to go get their toes done, get their dreads retwisted, fucking have dinner. They had time to do everything. Book a hotel in the area. They probably had a nigga that's in their crew staying in every hotel that's in that motherfucking strip. Everyone, if not watching, driving through parking lots, they want you gone. You don't, you don't think they gonna go the extra mile to get that done? You think if niggas in Jacksonville to Tampa is three hours, two and a half if you drive crazy, these niggas is gonna take that trip, man. You go on fire with a day, nigga. You had to know that. Them niggas will come up there. Why wouldn't they go up there to get you? <laughs> to get you? Man, Julio this might have been 30 motherfuckers, man, in his life. It was crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't play none of the songs. I don't promote, I'm not gonna promote that. I got young people that watch me, but it's just sad to see, you know what I'm saying? Such talented individuals that get themselves clipped. And he wanted this, you know what I'm saying? He wanted it, so you can't be mad that they smoking on his pack and calling the hotel to Fulio. I'm finna pick up a bra to hit the Fulio for the night. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you was a big, you was a big op. Yeah. Ace and them got to send them, got, got to pay them people off. Yeah, they got to get bread. Them, when you see someone popping up with some new chains, a new whip, uh, that's off you. Julio knew he had money on his head. He had a lot of money. He said it in the Vlad and all them other interviews. I got 30 on my head. I got 100 on my head. Like, bro, uh, you knew it. So to go there, post your location. His last video that he posted is him walking in the club and somebody is filming him. This nigga's posting his location, and somebody's posting him posting his location. This nigga wanted everybody to know where the fuck he was at. Oh, hell no! This nigga had the Airbnb and said, just hit the inbox. He, he shouldn't even said that. You might well post the address. He said to hit the inbox, we giving, they was giving anybody who wanted the fucking address the address. You think your ops, <laughs> this nigga think, <laughs> You wasn't the richest op, my nigga. The ops had money too, my nigga. They got money like you, they got cars like you, they got motion like you, they got shows, they got all that shit. You think they ain't got groupies, they ain't got hoes too? You think they can't send a little bitch over there? Hey, Isha, get your cousin to get that address. He gave it to everybody. He get somebody to DM the nigga. Hey, what's the address we trying to pull up? He just gonna send it, they ain't got the reply. Oh, we got the address, give it to them niggas. Then you get kicked out the b, &B and go get a fucking holiday in, my nigga. You should never be at the Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn don't got security, don't got valet. They got cameras everywhere, but them niggas don't care about them cameras. For you, <laughs> for you, they gonna put the mask on, they gonna pull up, they gonna take them plates off that car. That's what the fuck they gonna do. Or they gonna swap them plates out with somebody else's plates. They gonna pull up on your ass, they gonna jump out with the mask on, they gonna burn that car and catch us if you can. Hope you ain't got no cell phones on y'all. <laughs> but they gonna come see you. Now, uh, Trenches card is coming up. So rest in peace, Julio Fulio. I know you in hell with your ops. Them niggas probably showed her like, oh shit, I can't believe. <laughs> I know this ain't who I think it is. <laughs> they couldn't believe you got down there so quick. Sheesh. But uh, I can talk about that type of shit all day, but it's not really like the direction of this channel. I'm centered on battle rap. Um, you know what I'm saying? I've seen a lot of people comment on ARP, him talking about the hip hop news and all this other shit now. I don't know what the fuck is going on. And it's a lot going on with RBE, the bricks. That's what I'm going to talk about. That's, that's going, oh, it's going to get talked about. This is just the walk-in. Get in here and sit down. We got some shit to talk about. I told y'all. Keep it moving. So uh, let's go, V. Let's go, V. I got you. I got you. Walk it down. So the trenches got their card coming up. 
Uh, like I said, I have been hearing some 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 rumblings of matchups, and if they are what I'm hearing, it's a pretty 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 solid card. These niggas got some money behind. I'm rolling with Rockefeller because they got money. If this card is what I've been hearing, them niggas got some money. I need something, hey, yo. I need something. Put me in the put me in the motherfucker. I need to be in the budget, nigga. Like I'm. <laughs> Me and SP part of the production now, my nigga. Put us in the fucking budget. I hate when these leagues, not not just not the trenches, you know what I'm saying? I hate when niggas call me and be like, yo, we would love it. Don't exhaust the fucking budget. Take one of these battles off and put me and SP on. We'll promote. We'll get it going. If not, it's just standard. We'll talk about it. We'll recap it. But we can't be doing extra shit for all these leagues because the leagues that throw that chicken, they got to get the premium promotion. Everybody else, they get these packages. You want the platinum package, the, the gold package, the silver package, or the bronze package? Which package you want, my nigga? The platinum is we're going to pull up. We're going to make this shit a movie. Me and SP going to host. We're going to get this shit rocking. We're going to tweet about it. We're going to do all of that shit. That's the platinum. You've seen us do it before. Max out, nigga, if you want to know what the fuck it is. If you need a reference, go to Max out. You know what I'm saying? That's your reference point. Go to fucking, I do what I want, I cancel Christmas. Shit, go to the trenches, John John, go. Y'all niggas need, if they need references, we do it, right? But put me in the budget, please, you know what I'm saying? I, I, that's all I ask. I told one nigga, man, no, I, I forgot. I told a nigga, he hit me one time, an artist was like, yo, how much you charge? I said, give me what you would charge me to do it. What you, whatever you would charge me to come host my shit, you give me that. We never spoke again. I got kids though, man. My daughter in Chile, and that shit costs a thousand dollars. I can't leave my house for just the fun of it anymore. I'm sorry. Like I love all these leagues and what they do, but we can't do that. That's my pitch. It is what it is. But uh, I heard the trenches card is really good. Um, from what I'm hearing, you know what I'm saying. I'm, some some people that I want to see is on there. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Want, I, I I don't want to do it, man. So uh, we're gonna just leave that there. Um, JC. I seen JC talking about beloved Loaded Lux after his battle with Rum Nitty. Uh, he has some things to say uh, as far as, I guess, him having a potential battle with Loaded Lux. And this was on Hip Hop Is Real. Shout out to Let's Talk Battle Rap. I told you, I am Let's Talk Battle Rap. You know what I'm saying? Truthfully, I want to blog like Let's Talk Battle Rap, but I talk way too much shit to be Let's Talk Battle Rap. But I appreciate Let's Talk Battle Rap. So I talk about the shit that happens on I mean, but I'm just the, 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 the hood ghetto version. So it says, uh, JC says, let this be the foundation. We back active. Lux was amazing versus Nitty. It made me want to write again. But do not act like you are not aware I am coming for you. If I suit up and come for you, you will know it. You can't say you didn't hear me because I'm not talking when JC is making noise. It was the loudest thing moving and you couldn't stick your head out the door without hearing my name. Do you need that again? All right, so shout out to JC. Everything that he does, you know what I'm saying, his career, all the moves that he's made, winning the Ultimate Madness shit, you know what I'm saying, the 100 bands and all of that, you know what I'm saying, he's, he's been doing good for himself, you know what I mean, I, I hope to see JC back on stages soon, and you know what I'm saying, he's a phenomenal MC that I got a lot of respect for, and when I see him out and about, I always say what up, because I've embraced his career from the beginning, one of the most lyrical pens, I could think of some great moments with him versus, uh, he had a great battle versus Mr. Mills. That's one of his classics. Him versus Chilla Jones. Like, that's a fucking one-off. One of the best one-offs ever. Them niggas in uh, uh, Black Star. You know, JC's been around for a minute, man. There's been all kind of uh, evolutions of JC. You have the really skinny JC. Then you had the little chicken nugget shape. <laughs> When he first started and shit. He been through, he been here for a while. So to see him continue to do his thing is dope. But let's do the Lux, man. Um, as a person who knows just a little bit about the mind of Loaded Lux, now I'm not gonna say that I'm like doctorate level Lux shit, right? Cause Lux do talk things that make me be like, what is he talking about sometimes? But to have sat down with him and got the only interview that he did before the Rum Nitty battle, I probably have a inside concept of his thought process. He ain't battling you. I'm just telling you, he ain't not gonna battle you. He's not. Why would he battle you now in 2024 when the situation was brought up in 2016 and I asked him about it? And he would have battled you back then because you had battled Nitty on Summer Madness. You know what I'm saying? You had uh, you was having mad big battles and shit. You know what I'm saying? But then some way or another, you just started taking a bunch of everybody. You was battling all these niggas. You know what I'm saying? You was battling 
niggas in the store, you battle Riggs. When he was in the store, you battle Ryder. You was battle all these niggas. If you want Lux, niggas that want to battle Lux, bro. You got to get to a certain level, and then you got to stay there consistently. The bigger the battle, the biggest situation that you had was the situation versus Sue Surf. Free the wave. A nigga 30s you. Lux is not going to battle you after that. The stock is way down. Danny Myers can't even get a loaded Lux battle right now. And if we go like year for year, Danny Myers has been having a pretty consistent run. He don't lose a lot of battles, but y'all battle way too fucking much. Rum Nitty got himself to a certain plateau and he stayed there. And URL believes in him and then they put the money behind it and they made the battle happen and Nitty did very well. But Loaded Lux has a battle that a consensus, which is majority. If I put up a poll to fucking day, there's a bunch of them out. If I put one up right now, they're going to say Loaded Lux won. And everyone that I've seen. I haven't seen a poll from any viable source. And I'm not hating on Nitty. I rock with Nitty. I love what Nitty does. But I'm just keeping it tall with you. Lux has won damn near every poll and Lux ain't no fan favorite. He got beat by Gishi Gotti. And if he would have lost this shit clear, they would have get they would have been like that. And I'm not pushing no narrative. I'm pushing what I saw. So, um, I just think even with what you're saying, like even if you would have to get yourself to such a level that I don't even know is attainable, because the opponents that you would have to battle, most of them you've already battled. That's why I say to niggas, y'all battle yourself out. All these eight battles a year, battling everybody on you know, everybody's league. All these nobody, bro, y'all niggas, y'all you gotta focus on the career. Now, could JC get Lux? Yeah, but I don't see. I haven't seen a version of JC in a minute that I would think that that would beat that Lux that Nitty just battled because Nitty was smoking. And then Lux traveled and did it. A lot of people ain't talking about that. He was there, and then he went first. <laughs> like the pop out your cool nigga. Like come on, son. Oh, <laughs> JC, what he, did you hear? What that nigga said? Get box loaded. You better keep that shit trucking past. What? Yo, come on, son. <laughs> Leave that. Yo. I fuck with JC, shout out to you, shout out to your crib. But that nigga Lux is on another fucking level right now. And yo, y'all, matter of fact, y'all jump in the comments and let me know y'all what y'all think. Who wins? If they was to battle right now, how would y'all call it? Alright, now let's get to the bricks. Off white bricks. Off white bricks. <laughs> Just hit a lick. But uh, it's a lot of shit that I've been seeing and I've been hearing. People been hitting me up, wanting me to talk about the whole bricks and everything that's going on because they had um the breed different event down in Virginia, you know what I'm saying? And I was, and me and SP was there. We had the, uh, the, 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 the esteemed pleasure of being down there, being around a lot of these cats, meeting them, uh, having conversations, and sometimes just giving advice, you know what I'm saying? Because as a person who does this shit consistently for like the last six, seven years, I've been doing this shit. Matter of fact, hold on. It's my eighth year doing this shit, you know what I'm saying? But at a high level, at least five summers, you know what I'm saying? Like when I and when I'm done doing this shit, me and SP's done doing this shit, it'll be at a really, really high level. Like we get a lot of shit, a lot of opportunities, and we're blessed to be able to do that because of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I talk shit, sometimes it'll be like niggas will be like, oh man, you talking about nothing. But it always leads to something that's gonna lead to this. So sometimes, uh, you know, we I met a lot of the bricks, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I got the card right here. Uh, the cards right here and a lot of the battlers that were on these cards I didn't know I never seen I never heard about there was a few that I knew the bigger names the cautions the gwitties the jay breeze the mr mills the six eights floss the bosses names like that that I had really really knew but then there was some a lot of the smaller named MCs that I got to watch and I got to see but the first thing that came to my mind was they're not being promoted the way that they need to be like how can they be really like blowing up and on huge platforms if you know you're just like rbe will just drop their battle but then there'd be nothing else with it it's no engagement to get people to watch it so i came back i recapped the battle you know what i'm saying and you know i did about five six seven thousand views so something like that you know what i'm saying it was cool because i didn't even expect it to do that because nobody knew who they were but just the the the, the viability and who me and sp were was able to shed some light and bring attention to them now I hear about all the discontention and the things that are going on now and I hear artists frustration with the break process and I know it's a pretty stringent process. Like they got mad shit to do. You gotta do this, you gotta do that, you gotta have Twitter engagement, you gotta fucking have a, it's like mad shit they gotta do, right? Um, and I understand, you know, having standards and conduct and things like that, but a lot of these battle rappers are niggas with jobs, niggas that are like grinding, like a lot of these, like, 
I'm in a position where I'm blessed in life, you know what I'm saying? Like I do well, my family's good, SP's doing good, he works. I don't want I'm trying to get we that's why I'm trying to get to the next level because I don't want him to have a nine to five no more. But he still he still works, but he takes care of his family. We do what we do, we make our moves <laughs> and we make paper, right? But a lot of these artists, you know what I'm saying, they're not battling enough. You know, the newer guys, they battle once every six, seven months. That's not a sustainable income. So they got to grind, they got to hustle, they got to do the things that they got to do. A lot of them be seeing opportunities in other places and they don't feel like they're getting promoted. But the biggest issue is the ARP retirement. I've said it before. I feel like ARP retired at the worst possible time. Even if he was, there should have been something better in place because this is crazy. The fall of RBE from where they were last year to Young Thug and fucking uh, whatever shit blogs ARP <laughs> be blogging about. Sorry, sorry, it's true. You know what I'm saying? Like to go from the premier league of battle rap to now, there's really like no no circulation going on. It's no. I mean, he does first full circles. And I and first of all, you know, ARP was blogging from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? He was blogging before I was. So I'm never gonna tell nobody what to talk about. I'm just talking about the public perception. Like you can read the comments in a lot of these joints. People are asking what the fuck is going on. I'm just the voice of it, you know what I'm saying? People are gonna bring it to me and I can't be oblivious and act like I don't see the shit that's going on. You know what I mean? The the, the bricks, the whole situation is crazy right now. People don't know what's, niggas don't know who's going, who's coming, what the fuck, the motherfuckers don't even know. Like, I didn't even know, I found out Caution wasn't a brick anymore this morning. I thought Payne was a brick, he ain't a brick no more. He wilding and going back and forth, and this person and that person, and Payne, like it's wild. I'm like, yo, what the hell is going on? So you know me, I chill for like a day or two, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's sending me shit. I had so much shit sent to me, you know what I'm saying? I could have did the blog two days ago. But I just sit and let it all, you know what I'm saying, hit my mind. I watch this, I watch interviews and shit, and I listen to the clips, and I'm like, damn, it's a lot of crazy shit going on. Now, you know, Wing is running the process with Lawrence, but it's really Wing because Lawrence is not really like out there. Like you don't see him like vocally speaking about shit on Twitter. He's not really engaged. He's doing what he's doing. I'm sure he brings the bread in, you know what I'm saying, and does that, but there's no, like, she's doing what she's doing, you know what I'm saying, but, when she falls out with someone because of whatever reasons that they having to fall out, I don't go that deep into it because I fucks with Wing. I was there. I got no issues with her. Shout out to what she's doing. I couldn't do what she do because I ain't being involved with all you niggas every day. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm trying to go to fucking San Tropez. I got to be in L.A. I got to be in Atlanta next weekend. Me and ARP, I got to talk to him. I got shit going on. So I ain't going to be talking to you niggas every day. So shout out to her and everything that she's do because me, I wouldn't do it. I don't even want to talk to SP half the fucking time. And that's my brother, but you know, we, we that's my dog. But you know, we be talking shit. But I talk to him every day. I do, but it's my nigga. So check this out. Um, so I'm looking at it like, damn, when she's falling out with them, there's no middleman. There's no engagement. ARP is doing the, the fucking uh, academic shit now. So he's not even engaged with what's going on in the war. And this shit is going out. Of, it's going haywire. You got to have somebody that's going to reel all that shit together. When ARP was around... You didn't really hear too much about the bricks, about the process, and none of that shit. It was all underground. Nobody really heard much. We didn't really know. We just knew every now and then one of these niggas would pop up on a max out. Jay Breed, uh, Zay, you know what I'm saying? Zay's nice. These niggas is nice. They popping up on cars and they getting looks, and you hope it pans out. And you and you try to build them from there. Pain. I seen pain uh, on the on the angry fan shit. And you know, first of all, I heard them going back and forth with uh, Wing. You know what I'm saying? And he had some valid points. You know what I'm saying? Like. They wasn't really letting each other get their full shit off. I mean, well, he was talking and she would cut him off. And then, like, he would be trying to get his shit off. She wouldn't let him. It, it, it kind of went left, right? So, he was like that, you know, he felt she was biased against him in a battle with Ab and Virginia, whatever the case may be. So, I went and watched the Ab battle in Virginia. And some of the things that he was saying, like, Ab smoked him, first of all. Av was getting a lot of reaction, but who the fuck battles Av in Virginia? I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to him for doing it. His verses was good. You wanna, man, I was watching this shit earlier. Look, I got some bars. I bet you I got some motherfucking bars. How he said, he said, I cut Av, make a turn in lane. I like the chances of surviving slimmer than a block in Philly. I like that. Sliding back and forth over Av, we playing curveball. That was fire. We dolo, but I ain't, but I ain't stressing when we leaving. Text on the side, like I sent the message in a meet in pain, that was fire. Come on, my nigga, I'm doing this shit on the win. He said, uh, for the plates, I, oh, so uh, he said, so he sent the text in the meeting, right? So Av comes out of his shit. He says, for the plates, I charge extra. You just lucky that wing special, fire. He says, uh, he said, I don't feel like his cousin it. 
you just don't add to Adam's family values. Fire. He said, tighten up pain. It's a Charlie horse. If it's switching this bitch, we raising biscuits and that's on my mama pain. Ab's lines is fucking crazy, my nigga. Morning pain is a hangover. Whole gang be stepping pain like we got gout. Then he said, <laughs> he trying to make it back to Ohio, but I make sure you don't get Toledo. Ab smoked you, my nigga. We ain't doing that. You lost. But I didn't really see, I mean, he got some reaction, but it wasn't a lot. But Payne has beat people before. He beat ill will. He had a very valid point. Back to ARP, my nigga. You signing them to two year contracts, but you left. And they say you was talking about it for the last two years. And I'll be honest, he's right. Nobody heard about this shit. <laughs> Nobody heard about this shit until it happened. And then now you got a lot of artists that are in limbo. Motherfuckers is just out there. They don't know whether they're coming, they're going. They don't know the next card they're going to be on. They don't know what's happening. You know, Payne was really vocal about the point that he felt like uh, he was supposed to be on the next nigga getting promoted. He'd be ill will. Ill will went on and had a crooked battle with her. And he didn't get a call back. So, yeah, I would feel the way too, nigga. He trying to figure out what to figure out. And he definitely made sure that he did not say that he would not battle on URL. That's what I tell artists all the time. Don't ever close no doors because what happens when the business that you ain't closes? <laughs> now you ain't got nowhere to work, you know what I'm saying? So I think that we have to stress the fact that uh, a lot of the people are looking at ARP like what the fuck is gonna happen with this shit because the fact that if Smack retired and he started blogging on fucking uh, 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 Gunner Trial, the fans would be saying the same thing. So nobody's wrong about the way that they feel. And I looked I, I looked at the blog just yesterday and I see the comments and they're letting them know how they feel. But as far as the bricks, as the artist there, there's right. They put out a poster and let everybody know who's who and who's what. But I'm going to be honest, before that, niggas ain't know. Niggas did not know. I will tell y'all, because they're going to be people that's going to watch this. I don't know who the fuck y'all are because... I got other shit going on and I shouldn't, we shouldn't have to try to figure out who you niggas are. Like, you know what I'm saying? If we can't put the shit together like this, we ain't working, you know what I'm saying? You know, I got kids and shit, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, we not, we not, why do I have to, why do I have to overthink about who's down, who's not? It should be by what's happening. But then there's no dissension and there's nobody really saying and vocalizing it, you know what I'm saying? They say, oh, we talk about it in the spaces. Guess what? Nobody's in the spaces. Niggas, you know what I'm saying? The battle rap culture needs to know from the ocular point. They gotta see what's happening. Motion happens by being soft. The nigga text on the trenches. I'm one of the niggas that really got his motion going. I ain't gonna hold you, I did. Because when I first saw him, the nigga said, uh, this is blah, 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 text say go, uh, my, 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 my fucking parole number is 30551, tell officer, uh, Wood, Lieutenant Daniels, that, you know what I'm saying, this is, uh, this is all jokes, and uh, we ain't committing no crime, I heard that, I said, who this nigga here, whoa, then he started battling, the nigga hit me up, he said, yo, peep my battle, at like three in the morning, I said, who the fuck is this nigga telling me to watch his battle, I don't know this nigga, I liked it, <laughs> I watched it, the nigga was good. I spoke about it. Bam, now he got looks. He said, you gonna see him. I guarantee you, you gonna see him. We gonna see him before we see a lot of these niggas. I guarantee you we will. Who wanna bet? I know when he battling again. So, uh, and I just started giving him game, you know what I'm saying, from my perspective. And you know, he's with Easy, the trenches, and they doing what they doing, and I love to see the moves, but he deserves to be seen. The nigga's nice. If I start squeezing, I had your ass on Fox 5 or the Fly for all the wrong reasons. Ooh, nigga, I like that one. It was a lot of bars said about me, but nigga, I like that one right there, nigga. Woo, I almost brought that nigga to the show. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as far as the brick process go, I feel like the artists have to be prioritized. There's absolutely no reason why I should have talked about and covered the bricks more than ARP has in the last year, and I have. I literally have. I've got the view. I have the, the conversation points. Well, maybe not the last year, but easily the last six months. And if it has, where has it happened? You know what I'm saying? So uh, shout out to all parties involved. But I do see all the bricks is falling down, falling down, falling down. It's all the bricks is they falling down. Nigga, what the fuck's happening now? Like, what the fuck is going on? We want to know. You know what I'm saying? The battle rap fans and everybody else is going to talk about it, but... At the same time, I do want to see these cats shine. 
Uh, shout out to the, all of the bloggers who talked about it. You know what I'm saying? I seen Piper Boy shit. I seen Angry Fan shit. I seen Chris and Bias, who's like the Christopher Columbus, kicked the shit off and got everybody talking about the bricks. Nigga, y'all better take this shit and run with it. This is the most lit y'all have ever been. You better take this shit and run with it. You motherfuckers better start a podcast. Better goddamn start a radio show. You better click this shit and uh, you click that the, the whatever and post that shit on YouTube. And if I spoke about you, you better you, you better acknowledge that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'll tell y'all the last thing. As far as the new MCs, bloggers don't have to be your friend, but don't make them your enemies. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got no reason to not fuck with a nigga, just leave that shit be because once you disrespect someone, regardless for the reason is, they just not gonna fuck with you no more. And even if you have a fire battle, a nigga will not acknowledge it. If it's 2-1 close, they'll give it to the other person because they don't fuck with you. So that's why I say artists do not make issues with bloggers because niggas can literally black out your career. There was a time that you couldn't pay me to talk about Big K at all. I would not talk about him. He didn't say nothing about me particularly, but he said shit about bloggers and he talked about bloggers so crazy. I would never talk about it. I didn't give a fuck who he battled, I wouldn't cover it. He knew it when we talked, when we cool now, that's my name, you know what I'm saying? We, we worked it out, everything, everything great. But when we was not like that, oh no, I wouldn't cover his battle. I didn't give a fuck what he had going on. <laughs> Cause it's like that, you know what I mean? But it ain't no beef, but it's like you, 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 when you harbor that resentment to someone, you not gonna talk about it. So when y'all do shit like a blogger get into it, one of these little battlers, y'all retweeting and y'all posting and y'all helping promote it, it's cool. But when the niggas see that, he not gonna fuck with you either. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm from, they got this term called you witty, you get it. So I would, I would highly suggest, even if you don't fuck with them niggas, pretend like you do. You know what I'm saying? Because once you cut the water off, it's hard to cut it back on. That's all I'm saying. Don't, don't cut your nose to spite your face. Um, and just keep promoting yourselves. And even with pain, shout out to him. That nigga promoting himself. He said he got this main event going on. He was just on that main event. He got this movie. He got that. Y'all got to make moves. You waiting on the next nigga. If you can't make loot on the earth this big, you worthless kid. You don't even deserve to live. You got to make your fucking moves. On your own. Some of y'all the managers. I get it. Y'all got managers and shit like that. But this game is not. You don't, <laughs> I, I easily have made it to wherever you think I am in this game with no management. Nigga, I am the manager. I know what I want, I know what I need, I know what I gotta get. You gotta know how you gotta move and the connections you gotta make. You gotta do a lot of that shit on your own. You relying on the next nigga to do it for you, it might not happen for you. That's all I'm saying. Even if you do have management, you need to be as involved with your process as the next person. I, I could sit here and talk about this shit all day, but I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Cause I got marketing, you know what I'm saying? I can, I'm the walking marketing tool, you know what I'm saying? Get your lives together. Um, Shout out to all parties involved, Wing, uh, Lawrence, RBE, you know what I'm saying, all that shit. They got another event coming up with them versus uh, Battle Academy real soon, you know what I'm saying? They putting that event together. I don't really know the card and shit like that. I've been hearing about maybe they doing some one-offs or something like that. I think they should because when you're selling cards with new talent, you should get some old names to help push that. But uh, we'll see what comes out of that. And uh, that's pretty much this week in Battle Rap right now, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of shit going on, but... Uh, we had to talk, man, but uh, it's the one guy to buy the fly. Blah, 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 I'm out this bitch. Shout out to the gang. Yeah.